Droidy Cup was special in that we weren't actually convinced that we knew how to do one or that it was possible with the game engine and the game that we had in front of us. So first bit was just to prototype in engine how to get all the components that you need in order to faithfully recreate a Droidica. And then once we knew that uh, we sort of had the tools to enable the designers to actually construct one, then uh, we had to uh, design one on paper, on whiteboard, and figure out how to really create and fully realize the fantasy of, of becoming a Droidica. So a lot of back and forth there uh, within our design team and our animators and then with our partners at Lucasfilm. When we have a reference for what it looks like, we don't have to do concept art for it. We can just go directly into 3D modeling. If we don't have that and we have to sort of explore what a model should look like, then we have to do concept art in 2D before we do that. Then we do uh, 3D modeling and, and different variations of that for a high poly and then a game mesh uh, that we can then import into our game engine. Then we have to start uh, the animation process of rigging and uh, skinning the character in order to prepare it for actual animation. Then we animate it and we set it up in engine designers do uh, in collaboration with our animators uh, to make uh, the character move around and make it fire. Um, and from there, then VFX work take over to make sure that the blaster bolts that that character fires is um, unique and special to that character. Audio eventually steps in and make sure that the Droidica's firing effect and walking effect and rolling effect actually sound like the Droidica. And then we all come together and we polish uh, the crap out of it until you know it's hitting uh, all the quality bars that we and our partners at Lucasfilm uh, have.